It was one of those late summer early evenings. An evening in front of the TV, or a few hours down the lake. It was a fairly easy decision. I made my way across the golf course and onto the bridge. I brought the barrow with me this time to keep myself more mobile. No more being loaded up like buckaroo. I stopped at the bridge for the customary first peer into the water. I had a quick glance at the main lake to wet the appetite and onwards. It was an experiment to see if I could feed off the ducks with mixers, lots of mixers. And then once they were full, I could concentrate on the carp undisturbed. At least, that was the plan. I got through half of the four kilo of mixer I brought with me, and the duck showed no sign of letting up whatsoever. In fact, a quick glance left and right, and I could see more ducks joining the party. I decided to sack it off as a bad idea and head back towards the bridge. I stopped about halfway to the bridge at the boathouse, for a quick look there. At first I didn't see any signs of fish, but it was an area I had lots of success from in the past, so I set up a rod and began feeding an area close to me with a few mixers. I stood there and fed for about 10 minutes and eventually saw one carp. It came up and ate a few mixers, then disappeared. A few moments later, I was joined by a handful of ducks and a pair of seagulls. This was my cue to head onto the bridge. A sneaky peek at the bridge confirmed that there were carp present, but they were the wrong side as they were in the outer bound section upstream. I set myself at the nearest spot to the bridge on the fishing side and began trickling in a few mixers which carried towards the bridge on the breeze. It didn't take too long to get the first take, a strong fish that powered towards the bridge in an effort to escape. As it came round to my right hand margin, I felt the line start to grate on something underwater and then remembered a snag down there which had been done on a couple of times in the past. I kept on the pressure, switched up the angles and eventually all was well again and I had the fish out in open water.
A few last minute lunges and my prize was safely in the mesh. A lovely old mid-double mirror, scattered scales on each flank, and I was over the moon to catch such a lovely one on my first cast. After returning the fish, I repeated the process and was soon into another fish. Obviously, it was a smaller one this time and in the net much quicker. The result was another mirror, fairly plain in appearance, of around eight pounds. Again, I flicked out my hook bait and again, I was swiftly into another carp. Smaller still was this one, and as I glanced down to grab the net, I realised I'd left it further along the bank, so I had to pass the rod round a tree and shimmy a few yards downstream to fetch it. A small common this time, lovely little fish and very welcome. It went quiet after that capture. I went up to the bridge to have another look at the water, but it was now devoid of life. I began to pack away and made my way across a now deserted golf course and set off home satisfied of a good evening's hunting. <laughs>